Hi everyone and welcome. In the previous video, we have covered that how we can read Moorbis slave holding register data using Raspberry Pi Pico W. So here is my Raspberry Pi Pico W, which is connected to RS485 to TTL converter. And in the previous video, it was connected to ATC converter, which was USB to serial converter. And I have started this simulation in my system and we were reading the holding register data using Raspberry Pi Pico W. But that was with the simulation. Now it is with the actual hardware or you can say the actual sensor. So this is the XYMD02 temperature and humidity transmitter. It's a mode based serial transmitter. Okay, so you can see here, this two cable is connected to this chip. Okay, RS485 to, RS to TTL converter chip. I have connected this two cable, which is A and B, positive and negative for RS485. And this two uh, is power supply. Okay, positive and negative, 24 volt DC. So our target in this video is to read the temperature and humidity sensor data from this sensor and this sensor is providing temperature and humidity data on the input register. So in the previous video we have covered that how to read holding register data. Now in this video we will see how to read input register data. Okay, so I have crafted the general block for this that how to read input register data from more slave device in Raspberry Pi Pico W with TTL to RS485 converter using MicroPython programming. Okay, so what things you require in this is Raspberry Pi Pico W and TTL to RS485 converter. So I have both of this here. This is my Raspberry Pi Pico W and this is the RS485 to TTL converter. Now, whatever sensor or whatever PLC or whatever device you have, which is providing data on RS485, you have to connect that device here to A and B. You can see here i have connected it here a and b cable okay so this is the uh, connection diagram for ttl to rs485 converter and the raspberry pi pico w you can connect these two things like this and at the end you can connect your sensor you can connect your energy meter you can connect your plc or you can connect any other device which is providing the data on rs485 modus protocol okay so i have connected this xymd02 sensor here now we want to read the temperature and humidity data from this sensor. So I have already provided the program here. So we are going to use this program. We will modify this program little bit and then we will see the actual temperature and humidity data in the MicroPython uh, ID or you can say in the Thony. But uh, to work with the Morbus communication on the Raspberry Pi Pico, you have to install MicroPython Morbus library. If you are not aware how to install, then you can watch this video, okay? Now we will open the Thony MicroPython ID and uh, we will copy this code here. Okay, copy, paste. And here you can see COM3 is connected and my COM3 is connected to the Raspberry Pi Pico W. Okay. Now let's understand the logic. So we have imported the necessary functions and library which is required for Morbus communication. This is the RXTX pins, okay? If you see the uh, sketch, I mean connection diagram, you can see one and two is the RXTX pins, okay? And that I have specified here. Now the starting address is zero and the quantity we want to read is three. But this sensor will provide the data on input register and it will provide only two data, okay? Temperature and humidity. So we have to modify the quantity to two and starting address is one for this device, okay? So we have to write one here. And uh, yeah, this is the Modbus master parameter like board rate 9600 for this device. Data bits eight, stop bit one, parity none, okay? And uh, we are going to read the input register and we will print the data in the monitor or you can say in the shell. So let's run this script and see the data. You can see 337 and 434. So 33.7 is my temperature reading and 43.4 is my percentage relative humidity reading. Okay, but now I want data in the proper format. I want to divide these values by 10 and I want to uh, read the data at every second. So for that, uh, you can modify the code like this. So let me modify the code. Okay, uh, let me comment this one and we will read the data at every second and uh, 
we will print this sorry we will disable this print and also we will yeah we will leave it as it is okay now we will again run the code and then you can see 33.7 is my temperature and 43.3 is my percentage relative humidity and it will continue reading the data now if i want to do something with the data if i want to display it on a screen if i want to publish it to mqtt broker then i can use it using micropython programming i can update the code i can send this data to mqtt broker and i can you know monitor the temperature and humidity of my house or of my uh, any place remotely via mqtt okay so this is how you can read input register data of any morbus device so this is the morbus sensor morbus transmitter you can say which is providing the data i mean which is providing temperature and humidity data serially and we are reading the data in raspberry pi pico w okay so if you want to use your raspberry pi pico w for morbus serial communication which can read holding register data input register data then you can use it okay so this is the industrial example you can say where we have the sensor and we are reading the sensor data using raspberry pi pico w with the help of my micro pattern programming now whatever i want to do with this data i can do it's up to me how i code it it's up to you how you want to create your logic how you want to uh, perform the action after reading the data okay so i hope this thing is clear and this blog is general purpose blog okay if you don't have this sensor then you can use morbus slave software to simulate the input register values but i have the sensor uh, which is providing data on input register so that's why i have used this sensor to connect with this chip rs485 to ttl converter and this chip is providing data to raspberry pi pico w and in the raspberry pi pico i can read the data now i can also connect multiple sensors to this chip okay that is also possible i can connect multiple sensor and i can you know update the logic right it is reading from slave address one but i have multiple sensor and those sensor have multiple slave addresses then also i can read the data from multiple sensors as well and i can publish the data to mqtt broker i can create a display or i can you know showcase this data anywhere so that's how you make it possible with the raspberry pi pico and micropython programming so if you have any question or if you have any concern then you can always ping me on telegram instagram whatsapp anywhere okay and also you can read and you can follow the steps based on this blog so i hope this thing is clear and if you still have any question or doubt then you can always ping me on telegram instagram whatsapp also you can send a comment on this video and we will meet you in the next videos and in the next videos we are going to read the coil status we are going to read the discrete input status we are going to write some data okay so all those stuff we are going to see in the future videos but this two video is only about how to read holding register data and how to read input register data so if you are searching for the blog of how to read holding register data then navigate to our blog and uh, here you have how to read holding register values of Morbus slave device okay you will find everything here including connection diagram code and testing part and if you want for input register then here is everything so i hope everything is clear and you can see it is still in it, still reading the data and i can do whatever i want to do with my data okay so stay tuned for the next video and we will meet you in the next video thank you